So, there are no restrictions on like what weapons, what items we can use. The only rule is that we have to one-shot every enemy or boss that we encounter. There will be some exceptions, um, like Colgera, uh, bosses that have two phases. But basically, for, for bosses that have two phases, we just need to make sure that every hit puts them into second phase. Okay, the keys. Y'all think we can one-shot these guys? I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, we're pretty strong. Okay. That was the part I was really worried about, honestly. I actually almost died there. Ah-ha-ha-ha. <laughs> now we're cooking the two attack tree branch. I'm very curious. If we sneak strike this construct, can we kill him? Watch this. Um, let's get rid of... So how exactly are you going to deal with the bosses? Get strong weapon, attack a boss, kill boss, profit. Okay, it's time to do all of our setup. So the first things that we need to get are a diamond, because we want rupees, and Royal Guards Claymore. There should be a diamond in here. Here is the diamond. Beautiful. Okay, there should be a Royal Guards Claymore right here. Yes. But we can do better. So let's destroy this thing. Wah. Oh, wah. We want to break it because we want to get... The pristine version. Let's go back to Lookout Landing. Let's dupe our diamonds and get a ton of rupees. There we go. Yeah, we got 16k now. Fat stack. Let's head to Kakariko Village. There are like two things we need to do here. Number one, we need to get the Radiant Armor set. This is why we needed the rupees. Let's put it on. <laughs> what an ugly set. <laughs> <laughs> we, we need this because if you upgrade the Radiant Armor set twice, you get a bone proficiency. And now we want to go to the chasm that's in Kakariko Village because that's the closest one to the Karam Light Route. And the Karam Light Route is close to a Shadow Soldier that always exclusively drops two-handed weapons. And since we destroyed that Royal Guards Claymore, we want the pristine version because we want that extra bit of damage. So the pristine Royal Guard Claymore was not spawning in because apparently I needed to take the Traveler's Claymore from the Soldier first and then wait for the next Blood Moon. So I decided to do something else for now. So what we can do right now, we could try to upgrade our Radiant Armor set. We need to find some Gibdos for the bones and we need some attack up food. With enough zuggling, anything can be one shot. Yes, but we will get the strongest weapon we can without zuggling first. And then, yeah, we'll of course have to zuggle. All right, let me show you guys what my logic is. Pristine Royal Guards Claymore. This does 39 damage. But if you give it to an Octorok, the max modifier we can get is plus 10. And Gibda Bone adds 40. And if we upgrade our Radiant Armor set, we get Bone Proficiency. And then, because of the Royal Guard series passive ability, and then as it's on its last hit as well, it's also a double. And then, so level 3 attack up food. And then the last one, if we throw it, it does double damage damage 1922 damage now that's the theory behind it all right let's go to this great fairy okay there's the drum guy okay we need some honeycombs do we count one shotting the the bees okay that's that's good right like they, they always come back one time that was, that was a one shot right have you seen Point Crow beat Ganon with his meat? Yes, I have seen that. I've seen lots of beating meat. I mean, uh, I've seen Point Crow beat his... I mean, I've seen Point Crow do the beating... I mean, how do I word this? I've seen Point Crow do his meat... How do I say this? I've seen Point Crow complete... I've seen Point Crow accomplish his meet only run there accomplish we, we've arrived at accomplish <laughs> we got our second great fairy day two i i did some stuff off stream guys as you can see i have upgraded my radiant stuff i just duped like large zone eye charges truffles puff shrooms i think that's like it we still have to find the pristine royal guard claymore so whenever the next blood moon happens we will go get the pristine version but for now we'll just go get the decayed version 
we have something 32 damage that's that's not bad okay we'll zuggle a few times so we can uh just dupe our weapon uh let's see how many we got okay we have a full inventory of royal guards clay wars now okay we need to find some gibdos ruby oh ruby does one shot okay there we go, Gibdo Bone, yes. All right, so here's an explanation to clarify some things. Right now, my goal was to kill a Molduga so I could get the Molduga Jaw. But the only problem was I couldn't make a weapon strong enough to one-shot it. I tried attaching a Gibdo Bone, but the problem with that was the weapon would never be badly damaged. Even if I put my Claymore into its very last point of durability and then attached a Gibdo Bone, it still wouldn't show it was badly damaged, which prevented me from using the Royal Guard weapon's double damage passive ability. So after a few hours of troubleshooting, my chat and I decided to try and get the second strongest bone material that would actually work. The Stalnox Horn. Wait, that was close! Wait, wait. I think I just missed the eye, maybe. Um, is he just gonna let me do it? Oh! Can I... Um... Does, does that count? It was a two-shot. Does it, does it count as two phases? I... I also kind of agree. I don't think I should count this, but I don't know if there's any other way. We'll have to give up on Stalnox. You can take his eye and walk into the sun and you'll kill him. Um, I know there's another Stalnox over in Elden region. Okay, let's see. Let's see this. So we we snipe him in the eye and then we, we move the eye, right? Bomb his eye. Give me that eye. Okay, you eat it. Yes. He's not gonna come down here, right? <gasps> He's not gonna come down here. Now we just wait until um, the morning, right? Oh, there is a blood moon. Okay, the blood moon's about to happen. How far do we have to go for this guy to die? Um, um, wait, the Stalnox is... Where'd the eye go? Wait, where did his eye go? Did I go too far? No, it despawned. We're gonna get his eye. We'll throw it into like the water or something so he can't go anywhere. Is throwing it into the water gonna kill it actually? All right, kick him. Get him out of here. We got the eye again. It kills it? Okay. Okay, we can throw the eye into water and it'll kill it. Sayonara, sucker! Die! Die? Well, at least he just stays here. We'll just wait until morning and then he'll actually die. <laughs> he likes his back. He likes the hot springs. That's a nice gesture of you. Nice moisturizing bath for the eye. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm doing him a service right now. All right, let's just wait, guys. Oh, he died. <laughs> he died. The stall knocks horn is ours. This is very doable now. We can actually do this. Well, let's kill the Molduga. <gasps> is that it? It is. Yes. <laughs> the pristine Royal Guards claim horn. Finally. Oh, we want that plus 10. Okay. Plus 10. Come on, let's get a plus 10. I need, I need y'all's energy. Let's will it into existence. It's gonna happen now. It's gonna happen. She threw it so far. Plus 10! Let's go! <laughs> what are the chances? Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, it's all thanks to you guys. <laughs> Let's do a bit right now. Do some zuggling and do a bit. Yes, okay. Now we have four of these Stalnox Smashers and we have four of these just regular uh, Pristine Royal Guards Claymores. We'll use the regular Pristine Royal Guards Claymores um, just for like weak enemies and stuff. Now, without zuggling at all, we should be able to one-shot this Molduga. All right. Let's do this. Come here, Molduga. Yeah, boy. Come on. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's go. One shot. <laughs> the power. Oh, that's so satisfying. And now we'll become even stronger. Come here. Mold do good job. That's three more attack compared to the Stalnox horn. But if you apply all the multipliers, it'll make a pretty big difference. Ganon is shivering in his boots.
Okay. <laughs> I kind of want to just kill something else now. That felt too good not to do again. Yeah, do a king. Let's kill a king, Gliok. We won't be able to one-shot with our weapon right now, but we will be able to one-shot if we zuggle like four or five times. Here's a king, Gliok. This is our chance. This is our chance. He's right here. Wait, what? It didn't work? Can't throw a zuggle. Okay, that makes sense. Let's see if we can kill this one. Okay, we're gonna jump slash down, hit him in the head, so we can do double damage. We've zuggled like five times. No, I missed. Dang it. <laughs> Yo, that was so much damage though. Come on, baby. No. We need like one more. Kill him. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> easy easy no big deal only took me one hit okay i'm gonna make i'm gonna get some precautions before we do floating coliseum i want some fairies first here we are here we are boys let's get some of our zuggles ready all right let's begin let's one shot him come on stop moving around yeah <laughs> let's go back we need to zuggle some more okay you should be ready hey you fool Yes! <laughs> okay, we're on the black Lionel now. Come here, boy. What if I flurry rush him once? Okay, he dies. <laughs> yes! Now it's silver Lionel. No. No! Uh, I think we should dupe our fairies. Okay. Eight fairies. No, seven. Six fairies. What is the Lionel doing right now? Okay, he's attacking me. Okay, it's time. Let's smack him up. There we go! <laughs> okay, now it's just the armored Lionel left. Someone said I could Lionel hoof him, and that, that, get, that gets rid of all of his armor. If you can one-shot the armor, that counts as, like, the first phase is, like, a one-shot. Hit him! That's not a one-shot on the armor. Okay, let's, let's reload it. How, wait, how much does a Mulduga Jaw do for, like, armor damage? Oh, let me, let me try this. Okay. Oh! Wait, I broke the armor and I ended up doing damage to him. This is not a two-phase boss. This is not a two-phase enemy. We, I think we can technically kill him in like one hit. Yeah, let's just zuggle like a ton and then just, just kill him. <laughs> I think that'll work. Okay, I think that's nine. Is that nine? Okay, the weapons are dropping now. Well, let's go try. Yeah, let's smack him. Hey, man. Smack him. No! That wasn't enough. We've zuggled 16 times. Let's get him. What? Wait, what? That did like the same amount of damage from last time. I did like four more zuggles though. Seems that zuggles st stopped stacking when the weapons started jumping out of you. Okay, that, that makes sense. The weapons were like coming out of me after like 10 or something. So then they're not, they're not stacking on. So I can't do more damage. Um, I think we'll have to give up on the armored lionel it doesn't seem like it's gonna work deathly all right we got nine of these weapons we have three of these Molduga hammers i think we'll be good let's one shot everything and first time for the cheese the big boss bokoblin we have to use the about to break Molduga hammer and we have to throw it this will do like 1600 damage he should die in one hit hello there wait what Oh, wait, I'm so dumb. I forgot to eat my attack up food. We have to load back in. <laughs> no, wait, I hit him with the freaking puff shroom. Why are you, why were you standing there? Okay, don't hit anyone. Okay, also let's get rid of the boss. Come here, boy. There we go. I think that's everybody. Everybody was one shot. Everybody was one shot. We gotta be, we gotta be careful actually. Especially in Demon King Army. I, I don't want to have to reset any of this. One more boy. Come here. Now the Gibdos. Gibdos, we can just Ruby. Kamikaze! There we go. Now the Moblins. Okay. I don't know how much health the blue Moblins have. But you're done. 
Okay, this is the first boss we cannot one-shot. This is one of the exceptions for this run. Technically, diving through Colgara is one-shotting each of the holes. In, in this specific scenario, it's kind of like a one-shot. Boom. Okay, this is where it really begins. This is where it really begins. Goma has 800 HP. That's it? We don't even have to zuggle to get, to get Goma. What? Wait, how do I get on top of Goma, actually? I know I can recall these rocks, but it's gonna do- it's gonna do damage to him. I, I could just hover bike, right? Can I just hover bike up to him? Oh, he tried to hit me! <laughs> okay, we're on top. We can throw- this will get him to half... Phase two? Yes! <laughs> instant phase two, instant phase two. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, you got- you got something in your eye. You got something in your eye. Death! We have Muktarok now. Okay. You have 37 opals. Bam! Get you to phase two, boy. <laughs> Come here, fool! Oh! Time for Queen Gibno. Wait, you did damage with the opal? Wait, did the opal do damage? Wait, are y'all serious? We have we have to reset then. I have to one shot! The one one thing I need to know, does the splash fruit do damage then? Maybe we have to do splash fruits then. Boom. Wait, I did damage? Did the splash fruit do damage? Oh, it did do damage! See, look at that. Look at that. Do y'all see that? That tiny bit of damage right there? That's so lame! Uh, that means I need a hydrant? If it happens again, don't point it out. That, that's up to you guys. I, I don't I don't have the eye to see it. Like, because I'm, I'm playing the game. So like, when I'm in the action, I, I don't notice it. Like, I didn't even notice it until you guys told me about it. Hydrant. Okay. Got the hydrant in hand. Here we go. Throw it now. Throw it now. Yes. I know Dazzle Fruit works on Queen Gibdo. Please tell me it doesn't do damage. Like, it, I'm pretty sure if it doesn't touch her, it's not going to do damage, right? The Hydrant did damage. I don't think it did. Let's use this Dazzle Fruit on Colgara. It doesn't do any... It does damage. How? Why does Dazzle Fruit do damage? Okay, wait, hold on. Since we're here, let's do some testing. He's going to ram into us. Wait, not, that does damage too. Wait, the Hydrant does damage too. You know what, guys? I'm gonna reload, but I think I'll just clip through. The boss gauntlet is kind of impossible. I I, tr I tried. I tried. I really did my best. Oh! Yes! Yes, we're through! <laughs> Ganondorf has 2,500 HP. Uh, the second form has 5,000 HP, but that at the halfway mark, it's still gonna be 2,500 HP. We need to zuggle like four times, I think. Four times to one shot with this. Okay, that's four Zuggles. That's one shot Ganon! <sighs> okay. Yes. G Link's like, my weapon feels a li little bit heavier. I feel like there's multiple weapons I'm holding right now. Come here. <laughs> Ganon just one, just one time, he's just like, <laughs> Oh, that's so satisfying. Ah, oh, whatever, man. Come here. <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment. Ah, the thrill of battle. <laughs> Indeed. This is the most unthreatening tease to like spur me on right here. He actually can't do anything. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> Goodbye, Gaddon. That's so funny, dude. That's so funny. Just another day at work. Just another day. Demon Dragon has 6,000 HP. That means each of his, like, eyes have 1,200 HP. That should be enough for me to one-shot with just, like, not even zuggling. <laughs> Look at Link. Luchador Link! The Master Sword! Fuse and Mulduga Jaw? Wait, will that one-shot? Okay, maybe, maybe Gibda Bone. Maybe Gibda Bone. Let's try Gibda Bone. Let's see if you one-shot the eye. We do! It's so satisfying. It is very satisfying, bro. Smack him! One thing left to do, guys. Let's smack him in the stones! Give the bone on the Master Sword. Do we one-shot the stone? <laughs> we do! It just explodes. <laughs> oh, so satisfying. So satisfying. So can you beat Tears of the Kingdom by one-shotting everything? Minus a few exceptions, but... 
I will say... I will say yes. I will say yes. Guys, I want to try. I want to try. I want to try C's construct. Come here. Yo, it worked. Okay. Oh, wait, we got him. Easy.